Today I have seven new things that we can do to help us romanticize our life this July. Happy July everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. As I said, I have seven things to share with you that we can do to help us romanticize our life this month. So let's jump right in. The first thing that I would say would be nice for us to start adding to that whole list of, of all the things that we're doing to romanticize our life is to start adding an indoor activity that you can kind of stay cool in because at least where we are, it is so hot. And so I'm trying to find indoor things that I can do that way I don't get overheated so one of those things is swimming that I am adding but you can add anything right anything to that list something different that you haven't been doing this whole time so swimming is one of those you can go to different dance classes ballet class jazz lyrical anything like that and then also maybe the spa something that is indoors that you can really gain a lot of enjoyment out of or even just even if you're working out indoors that's great too but some of us really have to change this up around this time of year just because of how hot it is my second suggestion will not come as a surprise to any of you but that is to wear dresses all the time so no longer just that one week dress challenge but actually wearing a dress every day because we are now in dress season, as we like to say, and dresses just give you that breathability, the airiness, and they're just so nice to wear around this time. I say when it's rather windy outside, I like to wear more of the, the longer dresses, not something that's really, you know, like a flare dress because those do catch the wind, but something that's a little bit more slim and also that is longer. Just all dresses all the time. And if you have been doing my one week dress challenge, please let me know that in the comments below how that's been working out for you. How many dresses do you currently have and how many are you looking to add to your wardrobe? So please leave that in the comments below. My third suggestion is to do a feminine swimsuit search or if you found one that you really love that covers everything that you want it to, that you just feel really confident in, please let me know in the comments below, especially if you got it this year or where is your favorite suit from because I know there are so many women asking me right now about where can you find a really beautiful swimsuit? So I personally love swim dresses and I've been doing a lot of searching for that. I have um, one that I'm really excited to share pretty soon. So that should be coming up. But let me know if you have one that you absolutely love. My fourth suggestion is to really start enjoying those summer accessories that maybe you don't get to use throughout the rest of the year. So that could be the sun hats, that could be a parasol if you want to, or even a fan. So whenever you are indoors and it's really hot or even outdoors, you can use a fan. This is the perfect time. I found this one, where did I find this one? I cannot remember where I found this one. Maybe on Etsy or something, but I just love this one. It's always good to have, I think, a fan in your purse. Definitely add this and it's so romantic, I think, just to be, you know, fanning yourself when, instead of using a paper, okay? I mean, if, if, if it comes down to it, use a piece of paper, but why do that when you have access to a beautiful fan? Now this fifth one is really fun and it is to enjoy a play at the park. So I don't know if this is around you, but there is a place that, especially in the summertime, you get to go and have a picnic if you get tickets to this and enjoy a play at the park. So recently my sister-in-law invited me to go enjoy this with her and my brother and um, Jorge came with me and it was just so fun. It was different than what I'm used to if we're going to go out and just enjoy our time together going on a date. Finding those different things to do, even if it's just alone or if it's with a friend of 
of yours, find those different things that you could do to enjoy yourself. And that was a new experience for me, so I would highly recommend that to anybody else as well. And this is something that you can even do with your family. Now, while we're on the topic of picnics, I wanted to share one of my subscribers, Heidi, who sent in her pictures from when I recommended that everyone do a picnic. Then she did this for her family, for her kids, and I just thought that it was so lovely. So I wanted to share this with you. And if you have pictures of anything that you have started doing after I shared this, then please send those in to me. I have my email always listed in my description box below, and it's usually at the very bottom. And then I can start including all the different things that you all are starting to join in when I make these videos. Now the sixth thing is I think really important but also a very lovely way of going about this and I've shared this in the past which is to enjoy lotion with a lid. So instead of pumping the lotion out putting it into a jar with a lid I think is a really great way to apply lotion because you have a lot more control over how much you get in it. You can also mix lotion so right now with it being summertime I really need to have a lot more sunscreen on and I don't just like to put a lotion on and then a sunscreen. I like to just do it all at once. You're keeping your skin hydrated while also protecting it and so this is something that I also love to have in the bathroom so for anybody who is going to be washing their hands you want to have some added lotion that is a wonderful place to put it you can choose a jar that you find very beautiful I love doing this even with my facial moisturizer every day I have a just a daily moisturizer with sunscreen but also a night firming cream or just a night moisturizer and yes putting your lotion in a jar with a lid is a wonderful way to romanticize your life now my seventh and final suggestion for this month is to enjoy some summer reading and not just read a book i mean depending on where you are but what if you're home how can you make this a really romantic enjoyable time what i like to do is do this during the hottest part of the day because i often feel a little tired like i need a little bit of a refresh so closing my blinds during that really hot part of the day lighting a candle and then doing a little bit of reading a little bit of summer reading and resting is a wonderful way to help romanticize your life Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this and you were able to take something away from this that you would do. Please let me know in the comments below what you are most excited about adding into your everyday life. And until next time, I hope that you all take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.